just watching that game unfold, you know, I thought um, the spirit came hard at us, so for, for us to hold our nerve and um, just some really good captaincy, I thought, really good leadership by Susie Bates and then just our bowlers just to hold nerve. This young girl here, Anju, has just been uh, bowling so well for us through the whole tournament, not, not just tonight, and we're just really, really proud of her and the performances she's been getting. Yeah, Andrew, two wickets out there today. Um, it was just a phenomenal day for you. And you're in the final, how does that feel? Yeah, like it's like a dream come true, just hoping for that we will reach the final. Because like every play, every in our team, everybody was supporting each other. So like we are backing up each other. So good to see that we are in the final. And like it's a dream that we are like in the game. So everybody wants to win. So so we uh, we aim for the winning and we reach there. And Susie, into the finals, did you think this might come when you had your hands closely grasped around that trophy on the first trophy reveal day? I didn't really know what to expect to be honest, but I guess when I saw my squad at the start of the tournament, I thought we had a really um, well-balanced squad and some really good players and obviously we've had a lot of people in and out of the team and that's provided a lot of opportunities for other players so it's actually probably worked in our favour that we've had players had to sit out and we've been able to give our whole squad matches and then today we got Marazan Kat back which made a huge difference to our bowling lineup. who were doing a pretty good job but to add that experience was just brilliant. And it's been a bit of an up and down tournament for the Falcons, what came together today? Uh, our opening batting partnership was pretty classy, so to have that left and right hand combination and for them to not lose a wicket, I think, until the 30th, 14th over, that really set the game up for us. So um, they gave us enough runs to defend and um, Atapati has been brilliant all tournament, so yeah, I think that batting really helped us. Um, Joe, was there anything particular that you put into motion for today's game? Uh, not really. I suppose the only difference was that we were going hard with the first 10 overs. I mean, our batting and our bowling when there were bonus points on offer. I think today, you know, being a final, we had to bring 20, uh, our 20 over game. And I, and I think it was just amazing how we did it. Obviously, that, as uh, Bates has said about getting Cat back into that, that bowling lineup, we probably used only five bowlers. Um, Susie's been used, oh, sorry, six bowlers, but we have been using about seven. So we wanted to try and refine our bowling and our batting, and yeah, and I think we did it perfectly today. Yeah, and what's this tournament been like so far as a coach of a side that's just been brought together, but now you're into the final and you could potentially lead them to the first fair break trophy? Yeah, I've absolutely loved it. I think, you know, bringing 13 different countries together and, and just even the first three days, just our setup as a group, everyone seemed to have buy-in to what we were doing. The first and most important thing was to get this team to gel together. I know they've got good cricket skills, but it was just wanting to play for each other. And then, you know, even in our team meeting today, I felt like a lot of the talk was sort of coming from the, from the players of how we wanted to go about today. And, and obviously we've still got one more game to finish this off. And the scary thing is for the other teams is that I don't think we've actually played our best either so I think there's still some things left in, in the tank there and we're just yeah just really proud of um, yeah our players and also our, our sponsor K-Man as well like they've come on board they took us out to dinner last night and <laughs> and we had a really great night with them and it's yeah it's just really exciting so we're hoping to finish off with one more. Yeah, so Andrew, you're being taken out for dinner by K-Man, you've got the likes of Marazan Cap going back into your side. Has this just been a dream come true for you? Yes, for me, like I said, I had a lot of fun, like uh, going to water park was like positive experience for me. And First time that. she'd seen the beach <laughs> yesterday ever and salt water. Because in turn, we don't have beach, we have the mountains and all. So it was amazing and thank you to came in for that drawing tower and thank you fair break for this and uh don't forget for supporting and Susie Bad the captain who is always back behind us when we are when we uh, are low she is always boosting up uh, more. So thank you so much and thank you to Coach for being um, helping us for this and uh, helping us and we reach to final. Thank you so much. Uh, and Susie, was there ever a moment during that game that you thought, you know, maybe when Dumpton was racing along that it was going to get away from you? 
Yeah, absolutely. The way she was striking it, um, we dropped her, which was off Andrew's bowling, which was a bit of a shame. And I knew with their batting lineup and how they finished games that they could score anything at the back end. So there was never a stage I felt comfortable, even that last over. I knew Sophie Eccleston against spin had the ability to hit six sixes. So <laughs> I was nervous the whole time. But I think Marika Hill's catch actually changed the momentum for us. That was a really great catch under pressure. And then Gunjan to come on, she wasn't expecting to bowl today. And she did a brilliant job against Dunkley, who's one of the best batters in the world at the moment.